They say be careful, Warthog might cross the road here. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 89 on our round the world trip. We are here in a small area called Tubab Dirlo in Senegal, uh, just a little bit south from the capital Dakar in this beautiful place called Lily's Paradise. Have a look. It is paradise. <laughs> but it was very, very hot last night, so I didn't sleep very well. And then mosquitoes around, so we had to build up the tent actually on top <laughs> of our bed again <laughs> to find some hours of rest, but yeah. Oh, look, look, there's a lizard. Hello. They are so cute. But we have a super exciting day ahead, so let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are here just down the coast from Dakar in Tubab Diolo. And we are gonna be making our way just a little bit across to here, Bandia. So we are heading for the Reserve de Bandia, the Bandia Forest, which not only is an awesome forest full of baobab trees, but it's also a reserve home to wildlife. So we'll tell you more about what they've got at Reserve de Bandia on the way. Please, please guys, before you continue watching, make sure that you subscribe to our channel right now. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> So it's just a short ride for us today. We have about 15 miles, about half an hour. So it's just nine o'clock, better hit the road, let's go. All right, welcome to another sweaty morning in Senegal. So we've got a little bit of sand and sort of dirt road to get to the main road. So Lavi's just gonna walk a little bit and I'm gonna make my way up to the road. conditions <laughs> Bonjour. Hey, bonjour, bonjour. Oh, why is getting to our accommodation always such a challenge? All right, so we'll just wait here for Lavi and then we'll hit the road. Look, Bumblebee has been stripped of all of her extras, apart from the rear box. Look how streamlined Bumblebee is now without those big, big panniers. If only we could ride like that and someone just takes our stuff from place to place. If only, hey, if only. Ooh, I need a break now. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Already so hot. My okay, God! Let's hit the road. What have you got for us there? <laughs> got some baguette. Got some baguette, some lunch, some dinner, some breakfast. <laughs> there we go. Baguette is good for everything, hey? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> We've got our food, <laughs> our baguette. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Abianto, <laughs> abianto. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a little bit more of this kind of off-road dirt road and then oh. we'll be heading back to tarmac. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bike feels nice like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely a little bit easier to handle without the luggage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Wind, awesome. cool me down, please. Yeah, let's get some speed. <laughs> Woo. My God, it's just so humid and so hot. 
even in the morning yeah if you don't if you're not riding with speed it's basically like sitting in a sauna suit <laughs> yes. oh my god oh, that's Woo, true. crazy crazy so Bandia Reserve, where we're heading today, is a natural wildlife reserve. It's three and a half thousand hectares of apparently native natural flora and fauna. And uh, apparently they've managed to reintroduce a lot of species that would have been native to this area, including some amazing animals that we absolutely can't wait to see. The whole reserve is fenced but it's still supposed to be a very natural native environment, not just a big zoo. There's also a lot of awesome massive baobab trees in the reserve, so that's super cool as well. We saw online that normally the way how to visit the um, park is either with a four-wheel drive truck you have to rent or with your own car. We will still ask them if we can ride around with Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if they agree with that. Yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, we are coming up to the reserve de Bandia, and this is the Bandia forest is just behind here. Reserve de Bandier. Yes. Sanctuaire. Safari bar restaurant. Reserve Whee. de Bandier. Nice. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay, tu Merci. Droit. Merci. <laughs> Look at this red road, it already feels very safari, doesn't it? Yes! Look at this, awesome! Ooh. They say be careful, water could might cross the road here. <laughs> Passage d'animaux. Nice! And there's a picture of some sort of stag, gazelle or something. Cool! Well, here we are in Bandia Reserve. And you can already see this huge baobab tree up there in between all the other trees you see these giant baobabs just popping out through the trees look there's one nice it's so pretty so pretty whoa there's such special trees baobabs hey such special trees yes safari time <laughs> ah here we go Oh, look, there's a kudu! <laughs> oh, wait a minute! <laughs> Hold on a minute, are there actually any animals here? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Bonjour! Just là? Okay, so c'est pas possible avec le moto, no? No. <laughs> oh. Merci beaucoup! Alright. All right, Bumblebee is going to be parked under the giant baobab just here and uh, we're going to go and check out what's going on in Bandia. So we've got a truck to enter the park and we're with our guide Salut. Salut yeah. <laughs> we are about to jump into the safari. Cool! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let the adventure but, uh, begin!
Okay, we've seen monkeys. Monkeys check. <laughs> Beautiful. So Sally, you said there's two species of monkeys here in the park, the red monkeys and the green monkeys. It's like two different monkey teams. So here in Senegal, they actually use the fruit from the baobab to make juice and they call it monkey bread. Monkey bread juice. Yeah. Monkey bread juice. Yes, yes. And lucky for the baobab tree, the wood is very soft and totally useless to uh, people, which is super good for the tree because they've left it alone and now they have lots of them. That's the emblem of our national park. You know the national park is Nyokolo Koba. Nyokolo, that's the river, and this antelope, Koba. He says there's going to be giraffes up ahead. We have just spotted our first giraffe over here. So this tree here is the oldest tree in the reserve, it's probably 1,000 years old they reckon. And this tree has actually been used as a cemetery. So back then Senegal was divided into castes and actually the lowest caste was the musicians called the Grio, and which is crazy that the musicians were like the lowest of the castes, but they were. And because they didn't work the land, um, they didn't believe that they deserved to be buried. So instead, they just threw them in a tree. In this hole here, they would just put the griot when they died in this hole. And you can see here, they actually still have some remains inside the tree. That's crazy, no? It is unbelievable. antelope behind us are called the derby antelope. It's the largest species of antelope in the whole of Africa. Rhinos just there, zebras just there, warthogs just there. We've spotted our first ostrich. Just behind us. <laughs> nice, <No>, amazing. <laughs> so because it's the dry season, they have to go around with a truck with hay uh, to feed the animals. But in the wet season, there's a grass naturally growing here. So they've just dropped a load of hay in this area and look how many animals there are. Wow, just in this area there's zebras, warthogs, buffalo, you've got horse antelope, Cape Ellen, 
You got these little cutie monkeys. Oh, oh. Cutie monkeys. Wow, and they're all enjoying a bit of hay. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I want to join them. <laughs> Enjoy a little bit of hay. <laughs> wow. Safari time! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> So that is it. Our safari is over. We've been taken to the restaurant area. <laughs> but we have our baguettes with us. <laughs> oh, there's a monkey. It's super, super impressive. And I'm so glad we have seen so many animals and they're living just peaceful next to each other. It's, it's just incredible. <laughs> Leaving the Bandia Reserve, let's rock and roll. <laughs> let's see! <laughs> nice! Wow, what a place, hey? It was so cool. So cool. It was so cool. I want to work there now. <laughs> it's really yeah, nice to see all these animals. Yeah, and the guide. Uh, spoke English really well. We asked if we could have a guide that speaks English and they had which was amazing So I think we had a two-hour tour in total uh, Which was plenty of time to see like all the beautiful animals they have there. Wow. It's incredible Absolutely incredible. It's just so nice to um, To see there in their natural habitat a lot of that wildlife is native to Senegal and would have been here originally or is in other wildlife parks and reserves in the country. And then some of the animals were actually brought from the Kruger National Park in South Africa. So it's a bit of a 50-50 mix between sort of native and non-native, but even for the non-native, the habitat is perfect for them. It looks like they're really free and easy and able to roam around, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really amazed at the standard of this park as well. Everything looked really clean and nice and well kept. So that's really cool. Yeah, they seem to take have taken pride in it and it really like all the guides seemed really uh seemed really passionate about it and and the guy that we were with that he had been working there for 15 years. So it's really cool. He knows all the animals from the reserve intimately. So it's beautiful. It was beautiful to go around with him. So it was 40,000 CFA for the car. It was 6,500 CFA for the guide. And it was 12,000 CFA each uh, for the entry to the park. So in total, that came to, I think, 70,000 CFA, which is about 100 euro. So yeah, normally if you have your own car, um, you could save the money for the truck. Yeah, and that's about half the whole, the half the price. So yes. yeah. And also Oli and me, we just said that it's our uh, birthday present for each other. Exactly, because it, that's uh, a little over budget for us. I mean, that's like three times our daily budget. So, yes. um, so that was definitely something special that we really had to do. And you know, this part of the journey, this is as deep into Africa that we are going to get. We had to take the opportunity to go on a little safari when we could have it. So I'm really glad that we did that. I'm really glad. Yeah, it's, it's worth the money. It is worth the money. So we're going to head back to our accommodation now. It's about 20 minutes away and pretty much just chill for the afternoon. Oh, a little beach here. Yeah, back to the ocean. Cool. And some of these really nice, beautiful painted fishing boats. Back on the dirt track. <laughs> they don't seem to have put much effort into the main street or, the, you know, the streets in between the houses. It's mostly just 
put building materials and bits of sand and stuff. And not good for bumblebee. <laughs> oh no, not too good. That was where we could have stayed yesterday. Hotel Paradia Law. It said piscine, it said swimming pool. I got excited. <laughs> it turned out not to be our place. <laughs> you know, and then you've got an Irish hotel here as well, a resort. But you know, it's not the places for us. The temperature is 32 degrees and it feels like 40 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's a humid 32, that's for sure. Yeah. So this is the turn to our place. I think okay. Lavi you'll have to uh I will jump off. Jump off here. Oh seriously, when you're not moving, it's almost unbearable on the bike here. I mean it's so hot and humid. Like without any wind. <sighs> Whoa. It's a sauna suit. Got some little cutie goats around. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this bit's basically a beach. <laughs> Woo, jeez. All right, I've got to do a bit of a Yui and then we're all good. <laughs> well, that stall indicates the end, I think. Whew. Oh, and a little doggy trying to say hi. Hello. You a kitty. Are you a kitty? <sighs> All right, I think it's time for a nap. We made it back. Happy and alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below. We will see you next time.